हेलो माय डियर क्यूरियस एंड स्टूडियस स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार्म वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज जिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर 38 एट दैट इज द कंजेनाइटल एबनॉर्मिलिटीज ऑफ द एनस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी वी विल लर्न द इम्परफोरेट एनस लो एनामली लाइक मेम्रेनस टेनोसिस दैट इज द इम्परफोरेट एनल मेम्रेन कवर्ड एनस स्टेनोज एनस एक्टोपिक एनस एंड इन द हाई एनामली ऑफ द एनस लाइक रेक्टल एट्रेजिया एनोरेक्टल अजेनेसिस एंड क्लोइका अलॉन्ग विथ दिस सैक्रोकोक्सी जेल टेराटोमा एंड द पोस्ट एनल डर्माइड ऑल्सो बी लर्न इन दिस लेक्चर सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट the congenital abnormality of the anus first is the imperforate anus this is a not uncommon congenital abnormalities in which there is a imperfect fusion between the post allantoic gut that is the hind gut and the proctodium which forms lower part of the anal canal below the dented line this abnormality can be broadly classified into the low anomaly and high anomaly depending on the whether whether the termination of the bowel is below or above the pelvic floor respectively now the low anomalies these anomalies are major developmental errors and sphincters mechanism of the anus is almost normal these are four varieties of such anomalies first is the membranous stenosis that is the imperforated anal sphincters then second is the covered anus third is the stenous anus and fourth is the ectopic anus then anal agenesis all these are covered in the low anomalies first membranous stenosis imperforated anal membrane the in this condition anal canal is narrowed and covered with a thin membrane on examination the membrane will be seen bulged out with retained meconium treatment is a cruciate incision on the membrane and a regular the dilatations anal dilatations dear students on your screen you can see the first diagram before the cruciate incision is to be taken on the membrane stenosis or the imperforated anal membrane and second is clearly seen there is a opening by the cruciate incisions on the membrane stenosis of the anal membrane this is the typical picture of the infant baby neonatal there is no anal opening no anal orifice this is the covered anus picture this is also the next image is also the covered anus picture and next image is showing the low level and high level anomalies of the anus according to its sides position first diagram showing there is a covered anus second is a genesis third is a high level of the genesis there is a no continuity all these images are showing the various abnormalities of the anal canal now the next three diagram a b c showing the low ab abnormality of the anus first is the anal stenosis second is the imperforated anal membrane and third is the anal agenesis next diagram d and e shows high abnormalities that is the d shows the rectal agenesis there is no generation no formation of the anal canal or anal orifice this may have fistulous connection with the rectum or the urethra or a urinary bladder or with the uterus that is the recto urethral fistula or the recto vaginal fistula and the diagram e shows the rectal atresia atresia means the absence of the normal opening or the narrowing of the normal lumen now the b second type of the congenital abnormalities are covered anus the anus is covered by the skin so that the anal opening is not situated in its normal position a thin tract runs forward under the cover of the, of that skin so that the anal opening in somewhere in front at the perineal raphe the treatment is to open the tract with scissors up to up to the normal position of the anus following by the regular dilatation of the anus now the next low anomaly of the anus is the stenosis anus that is the anal stenosis more or less the whole anal canal is slightly narrowed and the anus is microscopic with a minute opening patient usually presents a, a bit late as he or she can pass meconium treatment is regular dilatation of the anus next anomaly is the ectopic anus in this condition the anus is not situated in its normal position but is placed more anteriorly in the perineum of the boys and near the vulva in the case of girls in this case the anal canal is normally developed but a thick thin covered the normal anal openings the treatment is plastic cut back operation and the next anomaly is the anal agenesis is comparatively rare to the others conditions now students you can see the good pictures of the anal canal covered by the membrane with a running forward to the perineal raphe this track is called the bucket handle 
this is the midline fistula is seen in this image this is the another picture of the tenor anus and the next picture is the ectopic anus anus situated anteriorly in males it opens into into the perineum and in females it opens into the vulva more commonly in the vul, uh, vulvar ectopic anus or vagina very rarely now the high anomalies of the anal canal in this cases the rectum ends above the pelvic floor and there is often a fistulous connection between the blind rectal stump and the bladder in case of male and vagina in case of the females respectively the following are the types of the anomalies seen in like the rectal atresia in this condition the anal canal is normal but ends proximally just below the level of the pelvic floor the rectum ends below the blindly above the pelvic floor now the treatment is the mobilization of the rectum and opening is made through the pelvic floor end to end anastomosis is performed with the anal canal and next high level anomaly of the rectum is the anorectal urgenesis this is a very commoner malformation than the previous variety the rectum ends above the pelvic floor and is usually connected with the bladder or with the posterior fornix of the vagina through fistulous communication the anal canal is not developed dear students here is a good picture black and white picture shows the anorectal urgenesis and third is the rectal atresia now the show or the image showing on your screen are the various types of the low level and high level anomalies of the anal canal like atresia anal stenosis covered anus membranous imperfect anus all these are showing on this animated picture animated image here is a next picture showing the anal urgenesis without fistula and second is the anorectal urgenesis without fistula now the next high level anomaly of the anus is the cloaca this is a very rare type of the anomaly only seen in females in this condition the hind gut urinary bladder and the genital tract are open into a common wide cavity clinical features failure of passage of meconium x ray examination to know whether the anomaly is of high or low level variety metal coin strap on the side of the anus or a metal boogie inserted in the into the blind anal canal after 3 to 4 minutes radiographs has to be taken in inverted position by that the time of gas will reach the end of the rectum and one can see the distance between the end of the gas shadow and the metal indicator means the distance between the gas shadow and the metal or the coin if distance between the these two is more than 2.5 cm the abnormality is high distance between these two elements are more than 2.5 then it is the high anomaly of the rectum and if it is the less than the 2.5 cm then it is the low level anomaly of the rectum one has to wait till the rectal gas appears sometimes it takes a day or more for rectal gas appears means for this you have to wait for 24 hours and have maybe have to take the repeated x rays now dear students you can see there is a cloacal malformation on your, your image there is a one common widely open cavity you can see the urinary bladder the vaginal opening and the rectal opening is the same and the one one and the same this is the another picture of the cloaca short communication channel with the rectum vagina and the urethra now the treatment of cloaca is of the high anomaly common anorectal urgenesis with fistula formation if the intestinal obstruction a preliminary transverse colostomy if fistula is there it should be divided after both ends and should be closed if anorectal urgenesis the treatment is preliminary transverse colostomy followed by the abdominal perineal pull through the operation at the age of the 6 to 12 months now the next anomaly of this congenital anomaly of the rectum are the sacrococcygeal teratoma as the name suggest it is the teratoma at the sacrococcygeal region this is a, probably the most common tumor seen in the anorectal baby sacrococcygeal region is the site of the primitive knot a group of the totipotent cells which possesses the potentially to form various types of the cells and that is the reason why teratoma is seen at this region the tumor is actually situated between the rectum and the sacrum it is firmly attached to the coccyx and occasionally to the last piece of the sacrum it usually represents as a big swelling and may contain rudimentary limbs such as hands or feet it may becomes malignant treatment of this sacrococcygeal teratoma is this excision of the tumor as soon as the diagnosis is made dear students you can see the good picture of the sacrococcygeal teratoma of the neonate on your screen it is look like a body parts like a foot or the arm hands here is a good picture of the ultrasonography to detect the congenital anomaly in the uh, baby in the womb there is a sacrococcygeal teratoma is clearly seen this is the animated pictures of the sacrococcygeal teratoma cross section is also seen this is the post operatively pictures of the 
oxygen of the sacro oxygen teratoma now the last point of this lecture is the post anal dermoid this may be regarded as a type of the previous condition dermoid is situated behind the anal canal and rectum and in front of the coccyx and sacrum soft and cystic swelling presented in adult life treatment is the excision of the cyst along with the anus this is the good picture of the post dermoid post rectal post anal dermoid dear students to clear the concepts you can watch the youtube's videos and here is the end of our surgery lectures number 38 that is the congenital abnormalities of the anus there is a good video of the congenital abnormalities uh, low level and high levels and the cloaca also you can watch it thank you